the name is Brandon Gross. And we are the Game Changers. Designers, creatives alike. We are in a world that runs on value. Our next designs will be the shiniest. Our next animation will be the most buttery. Ladies and gentlemen, Game Changers, let the games begin. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Some are here. Andre, what's happening, my friend? Some are on the way. What's my call? Today we are doing the very first rendition. We have two days that we're going to be doing. If you guys haven't already seen already in our Discord, we have two days set up for us for our November challenge. We have, for this November, we are doing a movie theme to really design and try to bring to life an editor rec. So if you guys haven't already watched the challenge intro trailer, whatever, you might want to go ahead and do that. It is literally the last video we uploaded, or it might be in the description down below. We'll also link it in the chat just in a little bit. But for context, today I'm going to be taking on the challenge of, because I love Mario, Super Mario Bros, and there's a movie coming out, because the theme of this month is movies, and I was like, you know what, let's do my take on what that website could look like. And so today I'm going to basically design a whole bunch of different design options and tomorrow we're going to take those design options or one of them and build it in editor x for a fully responsive and interactive website so with that being said let's go ahead and hop in my friends let's dive into the office <laughs> and andre <laughs> i'm glad you like the intro man all right so today this is kind of actually what is already in existence let's take a look at this so this is a very basic, this is like the Super Mario Bros website. All it is is like the poster design, save to calendar, share, and a CTA to watch the movie. And I'm like, eh, that's, 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 that's kind of basic. So what we're gonna go ahead and do today is I wanna do my version, something that's way cooler, and uh, take it from there. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to either just hang out, listen to the music, my voice and uh yeah if you have any questions on what is it that i'm doing etc or even things that you have questions about editor x and whatnot um or even design because i'm be using xd today adobe xd uh, feel free to chime in all right kimberly what is happening i think it's it's honestly it's a small crew today it's during the work hours this is really just <laughs> Honestly, for me to prepare for tutorials that I'll be cutting out from this tomorrow, uh, or next week rather. So, like I said, pretty basic stuff. Like I think what I honestly want to do is I want to take this, um, what we have here, and I kind of want to, I almost want to parallax some stuff. I like the fact that it, it seems like they had cut out Mario and put him a little bit higher, because you guys can see like, it seems like none of this stuff really shows, right? I think they took Mario and they pulled maybe this part of the website out. So let's just let's just start diving in. And I think one of the things that I like to do to basically um, prepare for this stuff, and I also want to make sure that you guys can one hear me well, and two, I want to make sure that you guys have some of the music coming in the background. If not, let me know, and I will increase the size. Um, or the the volume. So let's see. I kind of want to get some inspiration. I want to do I want to just type in Mario really quick and I'm gonna just go to web design on dribble Reason being is this is like the first step. I like to just get some cuts of really, you know some cool designs that I just like to get a collage ready so I have my Adobe XD open and I'm just getting some some ideas. I know this is e-commerce, but I like the uh, the format of this. Rish, what's going on? Glad to have you in the chat. I think this is uh, one of the first, what's my call it? One of the first sessions you've attended and I think you just joined into our Discord. So welcome, my friend. What are you guys up to today? What is happening? Are you guys at work? What's happening? I know, Kimberly, uh, you told me over uh, DM that you kind of get a little bit of a break from your uh, client, which is nice. So you get a little of a, a little bit of a pass there to, to relax and do some other things. All right, so I think we might, obviously Mario has a, 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 I think we might use a good 
deep red for some of this stuff. Randy, what's going on? You guys can hear me, but no music. All right, let me turn this puppy up just, just a little. Just a little bit. Tell me if it gets too heavy, okay? All right. Kind of dig this a little bit. But out of curiosity, is how many of you guys are planning on doing this challenge? Who doesn't know about the challenge and would like to participate? Like, what are, what are your guys' thoughts? Or are you just coming to hang out and chill? That's totally, <laughs> that's, that's 100% fine as well. I kind of like this. I like the juxtaposition between the red and the blue. And I also like the, uh, the red, the blue, and the yellow. I think really, it looks really nice here. The only challenge here is though, is the fact that this Mario is a little bit, like if we actually look up Mario or yeah, Mario Bros movie who <laughs> can release says relax no way other clients needing hot turnarounds well I got you <laughs> well at least you got to breathe on one piece and you got to move to the other things Riff says great to be here it's 10 30 p.m. in India oh my goodness well thanks for hanging out I know it's this is like by 10 10 30 it's time for bed for me so I appreciate you sticking it out with us and, and thinking we're cool enough to, to hang out with. Yeah, 10, 10 30 is like night night time. But Rish, uh, what's it called? What type of design are you into? How did you, and um, I believe, yeah, are you UI, UX, web designer? What exactly do you do? And hold on, oh Randy, this, you know what? I was looking at your profile picture and I was like, is that? <laughs> I remember we had this conversation before. It's Rudy. All right. Rudy says, my real name, that's where my YouTube pro account is. And I'm hoping to, if I have time. <laughs> I got you, Randy. I think you just completed like a, you just completed a project. And I think you just really just started on a, a whole another one. So. It sounds like everybody's pretty busy and Andre's too, Andre too, too busy to participate, sadly. Sorry. All good, man. These are good problems to have. I think I might steal. I, I think also what I might want to do here, like one of the, what I absolutely love to do as well is let's go ahead and do ta, 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 ta. Yeah, like the trailer. One of the things I really like to do is there is actually um, what a lot of other web designers do, especially if they're working on movies, is they take screenshots um, from the cinematic, right? So what I would like to do at some point is probably turn off the captions. I feel like if I turn this, I think it's already all the way up but I would love to be able to like scrub and find some screenshots from this. I think we're gonna have to use Photoshop to enhance this just a little bit more, maybe sharpen the images a little bit. Okay, we got Mario. Mario been eating, eating some burgers. He looks lean. He's been jumping a little bit in these video games and then like Chris Pratt out here, just like he really in that, in that pasta sauce. Um, <laughs> all right, let me see. I'm trying to just find some thumbnails. Maybe this is a good little one. But I don't know. How do you guys go about like if you guys were doing what I would be doing? Is th how would you go about this if you were me, right? Because I'm like, oh, let me let me just try to stitch some images together, see what I can kind of do. You know what I mean? 
JT, what's happening? Late but high. You are not late at all. Literally, I think we're gonna probably be live streaming around like two, three hours today, so <laughs> we'll be we'll be a-okay. Wixfix finally catching a live stream. Hello, hello. What is going on? Glad to have you. It's been a while since I've live streamed, and I'm happy to be back. And um, I really miss this format, like hanging out with you guys, asking about what you guys are are doing, um, working on, and kind of just like chit chatting while I'm working. And in almost like in a loose format like one of the things that i want to do for next coming months is like just being able to okay I'm, let's try and build this and have a format live streaming where you guys can see my full process from like <laughs> figuring out what i'm going to do to getting to that like polished design to then getting that design into a fully built website um, it's a little bit more of a, 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 a messier process. It's not like super clean, but what I think is good um, is for everybody to see the full process. Plus, once that's done, then next week I'll be actually turning the finished website into um, a tutorial, kind of breaking down part one, part two, part three, and a little bit more of a concise tutorial so that everybody can kind of understand, oh, <laughs> there's two ways to learn. There's like follow along with Brandon and like, okay, I don't have the time, Brandon, please just put it in a, a three part video series with nothing more than a five to 10 minutes per video. So yeah, I think, you know, I think th I really like the theme of this too. I Hopefully um, it's, it's open enough for people to, you know, enjoy and figure, have fun. I think that's the, that's the thing that I really want for people to have fun, enjoy what it is that they want to create. There's a lot of warm colors here. So I think I'm trying to figure out, you know, how can we balance? Cause what I like here is I really like the red. I really like the blue too. Like that make that calms the image a little bit more. All of this stuff is like super intense right here, obviously cause it's Bowser. All right, let's, we can't forget these penguins. We need to get the penguins. Where are they at? Yes. <laughs> these guys, I, I'm, I'm not that super into Mario, so I, I don't really know like the lore or the, the, um, the context of what these penguins are. I'm really curious to know if anybody else uh, has any context of who these guys are, but I definitely feel like this guy is my spirit animal. Like I wake up, <laughs> I wake up feeling like this. Um, all right, let's see what else. Yes, totally. Let's get this. this is a nice little dramatic. I'm basically going to screenshot the entire, uh, movie thing here, but I, I think this is good to kind of like, and I might be going in too deep. I think what is important probably is to let's get the format first, right? Let's, let's figure out how the format, how we want to tell the movie story. I think this is this will be our step one and then we'll find content to help tell that story or else I'm gonna be taking pictures all day so step 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 two step one site format how to tell a story and content There we go. And I'm just put this all to the side here. Okay. Blam. JT is saying, I don't know if I'm going to enter the challenge, but I think I will make a movie site eventually to add to my portfolio. 100%. Like, I think one of the big things, too, that I wanted to do with uh, this challenge, too, is making an Editor X site, especially when people are busy. All of you guys, like you said, are doing some sort of freelance, some sort of something. And what I wanted to do with these challenges is make it so that you can either just design something or you can, you know, if you want to go another step further, you can make a Editor X site, too. So it's design or um, Editor X. You know what I'm saying? Lakshita, what's going on? Glad to have you back. It's been such a long time since we've uh, done a little bit of a live stream. To catch you up, we are doing a, uh, let me just actually write this here. My version of the Mario Bros 
movie website. And I should probably just do this in general, probably when I'm starting off uh, doing things. This is for our November design challenge in Discord. And the theme is movies. Our movie web website homepage. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. So what's been go what's been going on, Lakshika? <laughs> Sorry, Lakshita. What's been happening? What's what, what have we been missing? And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna kind of go back in here because I I think what I really need to do is just I need to find like I think this is our color themes, right? Like I like the format and the color of this, so I'll just say color. That's kind of what I'm digging, but I need to find like a movie sort of format here, like a, uh, let's just type in Mario movie, see if anybody kind of tackled this. Cause it seems like a lot to basically a lot of the games, right? And that, that makes sense. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm really scared to go on Behance because basically I tried to go on Behance and um yesterday and it literally killed killed my internet um so i do not want to <laughs> go to behance and basically be like <clears throat> ah! and basically get kicked off the internet i'm really trying to avoid that so wix fix says i i wanted to say that you make great videos and I appreciate them. Yeah, Wixfix, like, you and so many other people, like, I, I have watched so many, we have to give a, give you a little bit of, of uh, amazing grace here because you've done some, I, I got started in Edirex kind of watching uh, what it is that you're doing in Wix and just like everything else <laughs> kind of gave me a little bit of, of framework. So I'm kind of looking at this, I think, I think maybe what we might do is, I think this is really cool too, right? We could do something really simple where it could just be like a, a really mini homepage, right? Where we have, um, you know, photos of this, right? We could have the Super Mario Bros movie logo right here. Some of the menu, right? Maybe, maybe we pull this in as an example. All right, and honestly, what I need to be doing is I need to be pulling in these artists' names too, so that we remember and we can give credit to them as well. Lakshitha says, "Thanks so much for helping with the obstacles I came across in EditorX and got a job as well after finishing the portfolio." Dang! Congratulations! You didn't let us know in the uh, in the Discord. We would have loved to celebrate that with you. You know, I, th I feel like there's been a couple other people we've helped in the Discord, um, and you know, I would absolutely love to. What's gonna call it? First off, that's an amazing testimonial. <laughs> Might have to steal that, um, but uh, what's your call it? Yeah, if you don't mind, I, I will be screenshotting, screenshotting this. This is this is good. <laughs> this is good stuff. But uh, how are you liking how are you liking the new job? JT saying might have to use some of your ideas for my author website. It's still unfinished. JT in time, in time. But I'm excited to see that author website too. Okay, so the Squid Games is pretty cool. I kind of like... Let's see. This is a little too minimal and I can't really tell what's going on. But out of curiosity, does anybody else also just like for days? Like I could be... I feel like I could look at inspiration for basically all of today. Like literally that's all today could be. 
it's not going to be, but I really like the full video too. That was cool. You know what? Maybe what if we did something very like simple like this? I think it's too I think it's too uh honestly I think it's too modern or too simple. I want it I want it a little I want it a little bit more playful, right? <laughs> yeah, we would love to hear how it's all going in a uh... Ooh, I'm lagging hard guys. I don't know what that is. I apologize. Let me know if you do if you all do catch lag in the uh in the live stream, please let me know so I can figure out what it is and close whatever is kind of happening. Boom. Yeah, but honestly, I what I like the most is I really like this one. This has a lot of color. I love the variations, love the gradient, um, and it kind of has a little bit of like, you know, this process here with the photos, right? We could probably do that here, but I'm like, I kind of, I want to do a little bit, you know, a little bit, be a little bit more ambitious where, have you guys ever seen where it's like a movie uh, website and as you scroll, it has like some really cool, yeah, like this. Let's take a look at this. This guy is an amazing designer. His name is Min Pham. I've had the opportunity to talk to him one time, and I need to talk to him more. So I'm like, okay, how could we do something like this? I love the moving background. It's scrolling with. It's nice blurred. What can we have? Like, could I'm, I'm almost thinking, like, could we have Mario? Do we have HD enough footage? to have this be Mario, right? Have the player, the trailer be right there um, and kind of have like almost a cascading of like the, almost like a timeline of the trailer that gives the narrative of the movie. I wonder, let's see. Let's actually, let's just watch, I think this is what we need to do. Let's just watch the full trailer and then let's decide. So we got Bowser coming out. We have the penguins that are attacking with snowballs. Great. <laughs> He's getting pissed off. This is obviously, uh, you know, it's not going well. He's totally upset that, yeah, okay, boom. All right, just totally jacks up the entire kingdom. Gets the star. And then Mario just like, is not doing his job. He's not been plumbing. <laughs> okay, we're here. All right, I'm trying to also think about like, where can we get that full body shot? All right, cause that's also important. Cause right now he's, we only get kind of like his halvesies, half of his body. Ooh, okay. That was the full body shot, but I think he's in like in an awkward position. Yeah, my man is just looking at Toad's booty. Like <laughs> how can we, let's just, let's just take this really quick, right? Let's pull this in. Like, what can we do? And obviously we can take a peek and see if there's more. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, he's sort of looking forward here. Maybe we can take that. All right, he's got a little bit more of an assertive posture here. All right, walking forward. Just getting multiple options, guys. This is a photo shoot. Mario is getting a photo shoot right now. But, <laughs> yeah, so Kimberly, so uh, how he did that is like the, uh, we'll talk about it in a second. But 
Yeah, great minds definitely do think alike. I think I would love to see your rendition or your version of uh, your take on this. All right, cool. I think this is, he kind of looks a little awkward here, but at least he's, he's more in frame. You see more of him. I kind of want to see like that last frame. Ah, hold on, let me. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to go and do like a 0.25 so I can like actually. Maybe something like this. All right, that's a better full body. He's a little bit more front facing. So let's go ahead and give this like a, a red board or like a green border so we can be like, okay, this is a good one. All right, let's see. And I think that's it. Okay, I think, so now I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab the Super Mario logo thing here. All right, we'll just let it shine real quick because we, we, we don't, we just want the flat design. We don't want this glare. So we'll let that run by, all right, great. We'll take a screenshot of this and we'll just pull this out later so we have our Super Mario Bros perfect we'll get we'll pull this out this logo out <clears throat> maybe if it scales up just a little bit more we can take a better quality nope let's go back all right we'll just take one more just for for a safe measure all right one more JT says the movie looks like it's going to be pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it really does. The only thing that threw me off is the fact that my man does not have an Italian accent. <laughs> it really, you know, I saw it and I was like ready to hear like, let's go. And then I just did it. And I was like, come on, man. How, how, how can you, how can you not? You know, keep keep Mario to his uh, you know, his roots. Okay, and then we'll figure out which one of these looks best. Let me pull this one here. Okay, so I am also going to grab. Let me do. I feel like I need to grab, um, let's do this. Let's go to the internet again. Let's, let's take this off. We don't need to see this anymore. And let's go to, cause I really want like a, a nice blurred background like this guy, right? So this thing right here, that's totally just a 3D model. He's basically spinning. Uh, probably using spline or something and making the, the, the camera go down. So I think that's honestly really easy. But um, I love the ability, I love the fact that he's scrolling the website. So this is actually, you know, pretty simple stuff. So let me see. What can we do? All right, let's go back here. I think what I want to do is I'm also going to steal some of the screenshots that these guys have also um, pre shot like we'll get toad in here this will be kind of like our neutral screenshots but okay the thing is is that we also didn't get to see Luigi which kind of sucked because I want to I'm trying to think like this is a really good shot but I guess we'll probably just use, this is the uh, uh, let's movie poster. Let's get the actual HD poster. Cause I think that's what we might do. We might use that poster for 
the background. But where can we get it? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Alright, let's see, what's this? Alright, this seems pretty quality. I'll copy this. Paste this in. Alright, I'm gonna move these guys to the side, and let's start actually just, we'll, we'll, we'll do like two versions. I would like to maybe do a simple one, but i also like to do a, a little bit more of a complex one too, just to see how we can go. So, I'm gonna duplicate this. I think at first what I'd like to do is just make this like super big, see where we can fit it. Center it. I'm gonna open it in Photoshop because I'm gonna take out the illumination stuff. And some of you guys can probably uh, what's gonna call it? You know what? I'm just gonna. I don't know the fancy stuff in Photoshop anymore, guys. I know Kimberly, you're like Photoshop queen, so you've helped me a lot in there. But I'm just honestly gonna brush this out, okay? <laughs> Just keep it simple for me. Hit save. Okay. I think I'm going to keep scaling it until we have Mario out of the picture. Alright. So we'll play like this. Oops. Alright. Maybe we want the castle to be above the fold. Alright. And I think what we also need to do, because it's starting to get, it's like mad pixelated. And we don't want that at all. Let's see, maybe we can... Let's see what we can get away with. Let's just do this. And then... We will... Let's go back to our dribble piece here. JT says, Did that does that scroll function the same on mobile? I assume it probably does. Voice actor jobs have been weird, in a weird place since 2018. Yeah, yes, I highly agree with you. And let me see. All right, maybe we'll just blur it out. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what we'll do. So let me just go ahead and Photoshop will just close this. Um, we will go back to XD. Let's do, first off, let's go ahead and pull, I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna go into Photoshop and let's see if we can just do, I swore I saw select subject. I don't remember anymore. Wait, hold on. How do I get out of this? Let's just go cancel. I'm just going to select this entire thing. I think I should have like a... There was a... Where is it? Object selection tool. Okay, control D. Select subject, please. Alright, cool beans. Now, did... Oh, sweet. No. Alright, cool. That was actually pretty good. Now I do want to correct uh, some of this, so I'm going to go ahead and get my lasso. I'm not sure if this is any more helpful, but I'm just going to come in here, grab some of this, subtract some of this. I wonder if I, quick selection, if I'm able to... Just reduce some of what is selected here. Yeah, I haven't done like super, how do you say? Photo manipulation or just like asset prepping in, in, in a long time. 
But I think what I'd like to do, I wonder if, what does enhance edges do? It's been a hot minute. Let's go to, let's go to feather. I want to do point two, okay. And I'm just gonna do control J really quick. Oh, the whole arm is gone. All right, let's control Z. Let's do, let's see if we can just do another. I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. I guess I am. All right, let me do. Da, 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 da. Ernie says, "Mask it with Q key when you have marching ants." What is the Q key? Oh, you sir are a genius. Um, but now I am lost. So let's go back to. So Q, why can't I, okay. For whatever reason that Q, like, I don't know what the Q key wasn't, why it wasn't allowing me to do what I was trying to do. Okay. Okay, I don't think I did the birdie thing, or the fur, <laughs> the, the birdie thing, the uh, feather. Boom, boom, control J. All right. Let's save that. Okay, we got our Mario. Now, do I know how large we can scale him up? No idea, because he's going to start getting pixelated too. So let's go ahead in here. Let's blur this. Object blur. Okay. I'm going to pop this buddy right in here. Let's pull. And I wonder if now that we decided we're going to blur this, I wonder if we can just like actually scale the hell out of it. If it matters, I'm going to do this, boom. Yes, uh, Rudy says that the, the Q tool toggles the, ma uh, the mask mode. So I, it's been like, I knew that's what the red stuff was, but I was like, why is it not? Allowing me to because every time I was trying to select stuff like I wasn't able to I don't know Rudy I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> But I appreciate the uh, the help though I was getting I was getting frustrated All right, let's just remove some of this stuff. I Think this is like the rock that he was standing or the mushroom That was an ugly cut, so we're not going to do that. I'm just going to go back to my brush thing. There's a, like a lot of new features in Photoshop that are like super fire, but I haven't used them yet, and I haven't, you know, I haven't used them in a in a, in a long time. Rudy says, "Good luck. I'm leaving soon. I won't be home to see the end. Looking forward to." forward to the tutorials nice to see your workflow Rudy thank you so much <laughs> Rudy I'm sure you're like Brandon doesn't know how to use Photoshop I'm out no I'm, I'm joking but thank you so much man I think I'm going to duplicate this I am going to filter sharpen wait I actually want to control Z filter sharpen on sharpen mask so I actually can See what's going on here. Preview. All right, boom. And I also want to add a little bit of. Where's our levels, real quick? <laughs> Rudy says, I'm the keyboard Photoshop guy. Well, man, that's why we need you. So thank you so much. Rich says, Brenna, we'll have to catch up tomorrow with the remaining part. My eyes have weights now. 
Have a great stream. Well, thank you for hanging out, Rish. Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, let's see. Let's start. Uh, you know what? I don't want to mess with the... I was looking for curves. I don't really understand levels like that. So... There we go. Damn. Yeah, we, mm. Nah, that's, that's way too much. Okay, so let's just... That's the beginning. Let's just pull it up just... Let's just tad bit. From there to there, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and save that. Levels L key. Is it? How do I do... Anyways. <laughs> You're gonna have me mess up, uh, Rudy. Because I was like, the L key... Do I have to select something to do the L key? I don't, I don't even know. Okay. Alright, let's pull this out next. So we have our Mario Bros thing. We're going to go to edit Photoshop. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry, guys. There is a... Um, what's going to call it? A spammer in the chat. Apologize. I literally thought... that I could, what's gonna call it? I try to put so many blockages <laughs> in uh, in my spam filter. Like I literally have like a huge list of things to block. And it still, still hasn't been able to do it. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, let's do, let's do select color range. And I'm just gonna select the black back here. And maybe some of this, uh, this gray, maybe some of this blue, because I just want, I just want the clean. All right, let's, let's see what happens here. Oof, this is going to be rough. All right, let me just go ahead and mask that. Control I. Whew. And. Let's see what I can just do manually. And Rudy, since I know you are a Photoshop guy, if you do have any insights on how this would act, or even Kimberly too, because I know you guys, this is your thing. You have any thoughts, recommendations, etc., on how to make this cut cleaner? I am all ears. Alright, because other than that, I am just going to go in with our polygon lasso tool. Toonie, what's going on, man? Glad to have you here. Glad you could... Well, I'm glad you even stopped by to, to check out what's going on. How you doing this evening? Or it's not even evening. How you doing in general? I am currently trying to... Um, for our challenge this month of November... I am trying to do my rendition of the Mario Bros movie website and I am trying to just cut as much of the uh what's gonna call it the logo as possible to have a clean one. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm doing it in the smartest way. But <laughs> We are attempting. That's that's what matters. Okay, boom. Just gonna alt that. I am glad you're chilling, man. I am. What's gonna call it? I would like to. I would like to attempt to chill. <laughs> but I'm actually realizing that. Well, no. I guess I'm chilling. I just always, in attempt in these challenges, where I'm like, oh yeah, this won't take long. And then I get like super ambitious, and then I'm like, okay, but this is gonna take like actually forever. Because I'm actually still going to have to build this in Editor X. I gotta learn how to, how to pace, you know what I'm saying?
Well, I I hope the I appreciate you thinking the the cut looks clean. I was like, oh my god, this is, you know. I haven't even uh, what's we call it? I haven't even made so much of a what's we call it? We've kind of just like the easy thing that I would like to do is kind of almost do this format, but Mario style. Kind of have in the background like the trailer playing. We have Mario up front. Maybe these be parts or just like images from like the scenes which very easily we could have you know some of these things like that would be an easy day but then I got super sidetracked and saw this thing and I was like let's try to make this in editor X and I, I'm just a little bit you know I don't think it will be super hard either but it's definitely has asset 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 um, asset heavy so I think also I want to put I want to put a white thing in between I gotta see maybe something to separate Mario a little bit from the background and all right, let's keep cutting this puppy. But dude, I wanted to ask about uh, Minecraft. How long have you been doing your, your videos? All right, let's see. I just need to get rid of like all these. I probably should have just cut these out. Like just use I wonder if I save this, what this looks like. All right, definitely a little ugly. We'll, we'll get in there. <laughs> we have some edges to clean up. All right, so we're gonna crop this in just a little bit more. Here. Here. And on the sides. And let's see. So, I wonder if I do. What if I? What happens if I do this? Oh, I'm selecting the wrong sh stuff. All right, let me go to my layers here. No, definitely don't want to do that. I don't know, guys. Tony says, oh my god, my own videos I've done for a year now, but editing for other people and stuff I've done for half a year. Ish. Well, how did you get started? With it? Like, that's actually a really cool story. And while you kind of tell that, I think what I'm going to do is actually just... I'm going to actually trace all this stuff. I think that way, if I get this selection. And actually, I'm not doing pretty bad for time, you know? It's not even been a full hour yet, so I'm pretty happy. We got kind of like a concept we want to go with. We're going to, um, we have a direction, which is awesome. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get a direction that quickly. Oh, and basically, uh, to I guess, how did you get into editing in general? Like, was because obviously it seems like Minecraft is like your your go-to. Was it just like your love of the game and you start editing for yourself, and then people picked you up because they loved your edits? Like, how did, how exactly did it work? How did you get into the game, man? The editing game. All right, boom. Bring this down here. I wish there was a faster way to do this. 
And I bet there is. That's the sad part. <laughs> and I just don't know it. JT is trying to get into them editing services, man. There's a lot of people I know, and I personally need a whole bunch of amazing editors. All right, let's see. So we're going to rock with this one. Um, I am going to... Let's see. Bop, bop. I'm going to cut out these, and then we'll have a perfect... And if you guys, if you guys were to do the challenge, not saying that you were, what movie would you actually pick to do it? All right, I'm gonna save this selection. Right click, uh, save selection. We'll just call this Mario text because I do not ever want to do that again. And. I am just going to get a large brush, make sure the color is white, and I'm just gonna actually paint in everything. There we go. Because one of our selection, basically what we did in the beginning kind of messed up some stuff. So boom, okay. Control D, and I'm actually gonna save this. Some of this will pull out this. We don't need that black there. So I'm gonna file, save as. I'm gonna save it onto my computer and I'm gonna just drop this into my downloads for now. JT, it depends on how long you want your video to be, etc. Best way would be to reach out to me on Discord. My man lives on Discord, it seems. <laughs> like Sheetha says, the Spider-Verse. That movie was pretty cool. I, I think that would be a really awesome website to, to do. Alright, hold on. I want to select... Load selection, I'm going to do my Mario text. I'm gonna inverse this, and I'm essentially going to use, go to my brush again, make sure that it's black, make sure I'm selecting my mask so I can delete everything, oops, not everything. Just the things that are around this that we don't need. Like the inside, the A and the R. Things around this, okay. All right, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing towards the bottom. And you know what? Maybe I can just continue the selection here, right? So I'm gonna go to my lasso. All right, and I'm just gonna do the same thing here. Boom, boom. Tooney says, I wanted to do YouTube since I was 10, so that's when I started editing in Film... Film... Or, uh, Filmora. I was like, what is that? And then later I switched to Premiere and After Effects, and that is when I really started reaching out to creators, so yeah. Oh, see, that's really cool. Like, um, me personally, like, I started YouTube, uh, not this channel, another one. And I had... I didn't even know that. I was pretty young too. I was like maybe 15. And I didn't know like you could actually make money through editing other people's stuff or even um, as an artist or a designer, like actually doing artwork for um, some other channels. And people 
at one time approached me and I was like, wait, you can, I can like actually do this for other people. And my parents were like, where are you getting this money? <laughs> and I was like, don't worry about it. It's the internet. All I had to do is set up a PayPal account and it was good to go. But you know, that's the, that's the really cool thing about today's day and age where like you literally can, um, anywhere in the world kind of just like make money online. So I think that's really cool. Like a lot of, uh, what is it, Gen Z, they're like, you know, people complain about them like not wanting to work or whatever. I'm like, do you guys realize that they actually know how to use the internet and they're wondering why people get dragged into work? Uh, <laughs> for, to work an eight hour day when literally you can make money from home? So, I look forward to the the continual change and adaptation of the, the workforce and, yeah. Like, if you guys ever want to peep, like, my old, old stuff on YouTube, just type in, uh, what's we call it? Brandon Gross. I'm literally, I think the, the old channel, I think it was all, like, my art stuff. Um... Yeah, I was just drawing ink because I wanted to be a tattoo artist and I was like, eh. And uh, ended up not doing that because I was like, I don't want to draw on people's skin. And I realized like the, the computer actually has control Z and I was like, that is perfect. We, we don't have to mess anybody up. We don't have to be yelled at. Perfect. Okay, so I got everything here. I'm going to save this selection too. Ba -ba -ba. So what about everybody else? Are you guys all create? I actually, I know Tony's here. I know La La Chica is here. JT, um, Rudy was here. Kim's here. Rish I went to bed. Who else is watching? I, I, uh, Wix Fix. And we got, I believe Andre is or is not here. I know he's busy. But I would love to know a little bit more about you guys. What are you guys excited about? Or what are you building right now? What are you focused on? Would love to know. All right, did I just mess up my, okay. Nope, save, selection. We're gonna do rows, text, select. <laughs> Maybe I can add it to Mario text, let's see. Replace, add to channel. Let's try. All right, gonna get my brush. I'm going to paint this stuff in. Make sure it's at 100% opacity. Oops. Well, I'll go through and, and fix that. I left some spots. Boom. All right, I'm gonna do control, shift, oops. I'm just gonna shift to black and just make sure I kill all the excess stuff here. I'm gonna control D really quick. I'm going to go in here, clean this stuff up. I'm actually going to leave that there. Hold shift, add another piece. Boom. Boom. All right. Okay, right click. I'm going to save selection. I'm going to add it to the Mario text, add to channel. Okay. Control D to deselect. And I'm going to see if I can load selection see if this works the mario text let's hit okay all right sweet all right well it did not save these pieces let's go ahead and just make them now 
Oh, you know what? It's because we, I made, those were additional selections. So I'm just gonna, they were positive selections instead of negative selections. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and save. Da -da 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 -da. Save selection, put it back in Mario text, add to channel, perfect. JT says, I started writing a new book with my younger sister. She is ridiculous, but she has amazing, wondrous ideas. Well, I can't wait to see how that turns out and I would love to hear more about that as you guys continue on. It sounds like both of you guys are writers. Lakshita is saying, currently growing myself with more hard skills, actually working on improving my UI skills. Well, my friend, you're in the right place to be doing that. And uh, yeah, like, first off, again, you got your job. That's freaking awesome. And you're now in a good spot to kind of just, you know, keep skilling up and move into the next thing if you desire to do it. Oops. What kind of, uh, how are you practicing UI, your UI skills? All right, so we got, I'm gonna control Z that. I wanna get, remove this. Okay, so I think next, what we're gonna go ahead and do, again, I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna be too super, you know, diligent on these pieces here. I mean, maybe a little bit just clean up we don't want all the all that dark we'll go down here going back to my lasso just coming in and cleaning this stuff up And maybe, you know, it doesn't need to be 1 million percent perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my brush and just paint in this stuff here. And we'll kind of figure it out as we go. I just want to find the edges. All right, that looks good. We'll pull off the, uh, oops. Let's see. So I'll go back to my brush, down, and we'll bring it down now. This is like concentrating. This is why I wish sometimes I wish I had a, a stylus. I'm gonna try to get the end of these. All right, I think we'll just rock with that. I can still kind of see it from afar, but we'll go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and let's just export this. Export as PNG. We're gonna just put in our downloads. Mario Bros. logo. Set it as PNG, perfect. We'll go back to our XD. I'm gonna go ahead and just, hold on. Oh, this is perfect. Kind of, ish. No, it's not. <laughs> it actually looks busted. All right, let's actually get our, get the one that we exported, here we go. Looks a little bit cleaner. And I think we might actually have to brighten uh, that puppy up. Yeah. So let's go ahead, edit in Photoshop. Hi ho, good. What is going on, Greg? Glad to have you here. JT says she's a soci sociologist, but used to helping me in my early writings. That's awesome. I'm really glad that you have somebody that, especially in your family, that can actually just like 
you know, appreciate what it is that you do and also do it along with you. Like, I feel like that's actually really difficult to, to find. I don't know. You know what I mean? So I'm glad you have that. Especially, yeah, like family members, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to try to make this as light as possible up top. Let's go ahead and save. Let's see. Alright, made it light. Okay. So we got the Super Mario Bros. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and save this too. But I wanna save it as a local document. I'm gonna put in my downloads too. Mario website. Okay. All right, let's go back to, let's go here. So logo there, we have logo here, menu, buy tickets. Let's start to get some UI in here and start playing with it. I wonder if we center this, what that looks like. It's not super centered, so let me go ahead and center this guy. Center this. It's funny that this one basically says it's centered, but it totally doesn't look like it. So I'm going to try to improvise a little bit here. What do you guys think? Left side or center? I low-key think, I, I low-key like it on the, the side here. What do you guys think? Tony says, I like it. Everyone has every very, in everyone has very interesting stories. I'm just messing around with YouTube. <laughs> same here. Same, same here. Yeah, YouTube is interesting as well. I definitely have a fun thing to do for sure. It's, do you, uh, what's going to call it? No phone. We we don't need calls right now. Let's do call it. Um, do you do stuff outside of YouTube? Laxita saying learning from the foundations online. While doing that, I'm picking objects from Kickstarter and designing concept apps for for them. That's awesome. That is literally I've like I've never even thought about doing that. Learning the foundations online while doing that I'm picking projects from Kickstarter and designing concept apps for them. That's super sick because those are like actual uh those are like real real problems. I love that. It's very smart. I'm going to make this uh this I'm going to make this background to be a little bit darker. I think that helps Mario stick out a little bit better. Greg says, sitting at home with heel injury and stopped doing design altogether, really. Oh, Greg, no. Well, I can't say no. Well, if, if you care to tell us what happened, man, and I'm sorry that you're sitting home with a, with an injury. That's, you know, that's not the, it's not the most fun. But what got you to, to pause with the design stuff? And you're free to be like, I don't feel like telling that story right now. So up to you, my friend. Okay, we got Super Mario Bros, we got Mario. This could say, let's see, we'll just do get tickets, right? Get tickets, let's make this, I'm gonna do, we'll do product signs, I kinda like this font. We'll scale it down. And let's actually pick We're going we're gonna to try two different. So we have this button. We'll do another one. We're going to just steal this red. Let's set this to white. And let's see if we can pop this to see what that looks like. What do you guys think? Buy tickets. We'll say bye. There we go. Kimberly, you say center? We'll see what it looks like. We'll make two versions. Let's all these Mario's.
Let's see what it looks like. I think either one could really, like, I like the balance of this. And I wonder, you know, this one also leaves room for, like, you can actually get a... What's it called in here? You actually get a little bit of a menu over here. Group this. Yeah, because this, now that we have room for the... This menu, which I like. So let's do... All right, that's there. Let's kind of start to make some grids here. So I'm gonna do about, I'm gonna do 80. Pixels from one side. And I'm gonna, maybe we'll do 100, I have no idea. How do you guys do your grids, out of curiosity? I kind of just am like, you know, a hundred, maybe eighty. I kind of just, I, I kind of just fly with it. <laughs> it's not really the best answer, but I, I kind of just see how how everything goes. All right. Yeah, I think this kind of shapes up because otherwise, what I would be doing here is we have the buy tickets. We would have this logo or this uh, menu thing. We we'll probably pull it to the side here. I feel like this needs to be a little bit something like that. We'll do again. We'll do a hundred. Like that. And let's see. We'll do a hundred over here, obviously. Okay. Do I still have tea? Yes. I was like, my mouth is getting thirsty. Greg says, I always use the 12 column grid. You know, yeah, I, I think that's that's pretty much standard. Like, I don't really do, because obviously I can, what is it? I can set these, boom, and we kind of already have them here, right? Which kind of does help us out a little bit, but let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, it should automatically be 12. I can totally pull them in. I think that could work. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go by this grid. Might make things a little bit easier. Alright, I'm going to just delete these for now. Okay. Yeah, I think I, th I feel like I definitely like the the centered one. I wonder if I put a, a drop shadow here. They're, all, they're they're both pretty good, but I like the fact that this is um, this area does feel a little empty. This kind of feels a little bit you know fuller. I wonder if I center this here. No. What if we made this a little bit smaller? I feel like the space is utilized well here. This one, there's this whole, like this whole area my eye goes to. It's difficult. Okay, uh, let's keep going. So let's go back to our thoughts here. So we have our buy tickets, we have our Spider-Man, we have these things. Okay, let's go ahead and you know what? What if we did? Let's let's try this. This is why it's good to have like multiple versions that you try out. Greg says, I had some problems freelancing and had to change my WordPress pretty much, that's why. Man, I totally hear you. Things happen in life and you kind of just got to roll with the punches and, you know, that doesn't mean, you know, you don't go back to things or, you know, it's over forever. But I'm glad you were able to kind of, uh, what's something call it? Pivot in your situation, man. So, I'm, I'm happy for you in that regard. 
and maybe in this case, right? So maybe we can actually do some, have some fun with this in a, a parallax sense, right? When we're actually, uh, when we actually start making the website where we have the Super Mario first and then, you know, he kind of comes up in front of it. I think that actually looks really cool. Nice work. <laughs> Good idea, Kimberly. Good idea. Toonies just says, just YouTube and video editing, that's about it. Man, I love that for you. Keep, keep on going. True, because it looks like he's looking up at the title. I think that's also pretty cool. The center version has balance. Remember about white space. Yeah, I, I, I like this too. Like this one, I think it kind of had, uh, what's gonna call it? Some balance, but I think this is this is even stronger now. Toonie says multiple versions is always a good thing, and I always make multiple versions for my thumbnails. Yeah, like I think this is this is definitely like the we're heading in the the right direction with this one. Okay. So what else should we add? Let's see. Um, let's double check something here real quick. So one thing I do want to remember is this dotted line, this is essentially um, going to be the first thing that people see. So I'm wondering, let's go back here. So we have the full face of our Spider-Man guy. And then as we kind of scroll down, we get more and more of him. So I wonder if, let's make another version move our stuff here because I gotta just to remind myself the first thing people see is above this line so let's kind of figure this out size wise so maybe this is a tad smaller goes right about here Mario comes up a little bit. Maybe he's right there. I feel like that's a good size. And maybe as we scroll down, he can get a little bit larger and larger. I'm not entirely sure. But let's keep. Maybe something like this. And this buy ticket thing is huge. Let's see. So one of the things I also like to do, for example, is I love to, when I take these screenshots, I actually like to take them into, like pretend that they're actually actually a, uh, a website, right? So I'll go ahead, mask these things, and I'll pull them into a 1920 by 1080 so I can kind of just also see what the size of their assets are. So like this buy button we're looking at, something like this and I'm gonna control X and compare it to what we've got going on over here maybe make it just a little bit bigger right so all right, we'll delete that feeling a little bit better about this button and Rico says is this yeah this is this is Adobe XD we will be moving into Figma um, in the coming months, but I just wanted to kind of feel, you know, give my Adobe XD just, you know, one last, one last kiss goodbye. Um, because, uh, for those of you guys watching, we are going to be building this website, um, in Editor X, and there's a really cool plugin in Figma that allows me to, whatever I've designed here with the click of a button, it kind of just takes everything, put it into Figma and uh, kind of just makes the design process a little bit easier. So I want to kind of make my, my process my, my process a little bit easier. So kind of want to kind of want to start learning that. All right, so we've got this, this. Let's go ahead and one of the things I also would like to try to do is kind of like a, a, I really like how some people have like this scrolling bar here. 
And I wonder if that's actually possible to do in Editor X. If not, we will figure out how to. But let's go ahead and do it. So I wanna just take the center of this, draw a line, make it white, and I am going to just add a little knob here. And I am going to, let's see, I'm gonna blur background here and make a white border, just like that. So just something smooth. Just increase the size of that line really quickly. Maybe I'll make it so that it is centered to this. Just like that. And maybe I'm going to just increase the brightness of this knob just a little bit more. Very excited to see everybody's twist on this challenge. Brendan, I would suggest designing on 100% zoom so that you have a clear view of the sizing, but I understand the limitations of your workflow. Wait, hold on. What do you mean? Like, like this zoom? Like, I feel like I can't, I, I can't think like this. I need to be like out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. A lot of people somehow can like work like this and I'm just like, I'm too close up. I can't really see. Um, all right, from here, let me see if I, what happens if I do a drop shadow on this guy? Let me just push it over to the back. It's not gonna be, we're gonna blur it out just a little bit. I want him to, I want, I'm just trying to separate him from the back just a little bit more. I remember that this kind of slider is hated by UX designers because it doesn't do anything to the website's usability. It's just for pure looks. My friend, we are just doing for pure looks right now. I, I love, I'm that type of designer, man. Like the people who hire me or hired me in the past, like I'm that, uh, I'm the person you call for aesthetics. Um, let's see. Okay. So we've got that. Let's kind of go and see, let's go back to our website here. All right. We've got Marvel studios is sticky. Sony pictures is sticky. So let's go ahead and for this part, let's go to Let's get a Nintendo and an Illumination logo. So let's go ahead and do that. Nintendo logo. Let's go ahead and copy image. Let's go ahead and pop that puppy in here. And go ahead and edit. Kill that black. The white in here. And we are just going to Crop and crop. And we're just gonna set this puppy to black, save. Nope, not black, white. There we go. So we got Nintendo, let's go ahead and grab Illumination. Tony says, I really wanna learn how to do this stuff. This stuff looks so cool. Well, man, you're in the right Discord, dude. I'm glad that you were able to, to join and that you found us, man, because this this is the entire... What just happened here? This is the the purpose of the entire uh, channel, right? Learn through the challenges, join doing the challenge... Or join in the challenges, learn how to not only design, but uh, also how to, you know, create some of your own cool things. Like, you know, it's kind of almost like the first time you do your first edit and you're like, wow, I was able to like make this cool thing, right? And then um, you start like almost making like full cinematic things, uh, which is, you know, the next level of that. So, you know, for us, man, it's kind of the same thing. Like we start off designing and we're like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. And then we get into, you know, how, how can we actually make this a living, breathing, like, website?
and uh, you know we dive into that all right let me actually see if the actual I'm gonna kind of I know this is this is like the same all right we'll just steal that it's te technically technically that is it's proper sizing okay and I wonder if it would just be smarter to just align all this stuff to the left like I, I feel like this is probably a little bit better and I'm gonna reduce this to that okay it seems it still looks kind of like bland guys I don't know What about the R in the the Nintendo logo? Oh, true. Eh. No one's gonna look that close. <laughs> Hold on, let me let's let's just uh. Ugh. It's on like educational purposes. All right, let's do. Oops. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, let's figure the rest of this out. Oh. Okay, so what I want to do, let's go back to our illustration, or our inspiration, rather, which is our Spider-Man. So he's got about, like, play the trailer. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we'll do something kind of... Maybe we'll pull this out. And I want to use the same... Whoa. I want to use the same red that we used over here. Okay, what was that? I mean, that's interesting, but... Nah. Let's go ahead and use this red. I'm actually going to save it as a swatch. Let's go ahead and... I'm gonna go to, you know, one of the, I'm gonna close this out real quick. One of the things that um, happened, it kind of sucked. The plugins that I had for Editor X kind of just like disappeared. Like my icons, icons. I guess we'll use icon eight now. Oh, it's for Photoshop. Icon Scout, let's go ahead and grab this. Flat icon, let's go ahead and try. Oh, here, not compatible. Lame. This, this is where I was getting all my stuff for whatever reason. Maybe I, uh, maybe I did not, what's gonna call it? Download something or whatever. You want it less bland, reduce the blur. Let's actually do that. Let's see what happens. It actually doesn't look too bad. My only concern was, um, like, as we scroll down, right? Hmm. Well, let's, let's do this. So we got that, make another version, boom, reduce the blur. Yeah, because I definitely like this uh, shot here. Like, I, I think that's really cool. Uh, my only worry is... You know... Because I want to do kind of like this scrolling thing, right? Play trailer, directed by, cast. All right, he's got three things. All right, let's do this first. Let's go back to the internet. Let's go to uh, flat icon real quick. And let's steal some things. <laughs> 
<laughs> DJ resolution with Mac, it would be compatible. But listen, it was compatible for the longest time, and then I don't know what happened. It just decided that, like, you know, it doesn't want to be compatible anymore. But welcome, DJ resolution. What's happening, man? You could make it blurrier as you scroll down. You totally could. The thing is, is I do not know how to do that in EditorX just yet. Um, but we could probably learn tomorrow. So let's see. Uh, let's do play. Didn't I just type in play? Let's go ahead and grab a few of these. All right. Download collection, PNG, yes please. We'll do 250. All right, we'll just open this up. All right, let's go ahead and just pull. Do I have to pull one at a time? Lame. All right, let's downloads. Let's pull these. Okay. Let's try one at a time. And I think because these are not, uh, what's gonna call it? They are not SVGs. I'm gonna have to come in here and actually give them the proper color. So always use SVGs, my friend. It makes it easier editing. Um, let's try, same thing with this one. Right click, Photoshop edit. I think we might need a an actual we might need to do a a white one. So let's do this. First edit. Do white. Let's see. Greg says, well, you can keep that as it is with the header, add blur to the rest. Yeah, I, th I think that's maybe something that we will do. Or like gradually blur it, you know what I'm saying? All right, how shall we do this? Shall we pull? him down and have a like a little like a play play trailer make this a pill remove the fill Scale this up a little bit. Honestly, I'm just gonna duplicate this. It's, it's easier to play trailer. We're gonna switch this. Take that off. White border. There we go. Delete these puppies. Maybe I'll extend this a little bit. Move this over. All right, where are our, I'm just gonna steal this real quick. Tuning says, is there a specific, a specific reason why you went for the Mario Bros or do you just pick a random movie? Honestly, it's because I just thought, you know, people might enjoy watching uh, something that is supposedly supposed to be a, a, a good movie that comes out, you know, so trying to, Trying to keep with the trends of the public, but also, you know, I think it, I just thought it would, I thought it would be really fun to do. If 
feel like these circles are a little bit redundant, but we'll just play with it for now. Play trailer. The thing is, is that this does not feel centered. Like when I sent when I centered this here, like it looks off kilter. Like this looks off, even though it says it's centered. This button is centered. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so we've got this. Let's pull this off so far. Okay, so now what I think I want to do, it would be really cool to, maybe I can grab Mario Star. I was thinking maybe I can So one of the things I wanted to do is like, I wanted to story tell this a little bit where, for example, we have in this piece where we have like release date, all that stuff, rather than having like the release date, all that stuff, um, I wanted to kind of have like images where it's like, I wish I could pause this. I think I can actually open a new tab. I'm going to close this so it stops playing. So like right here, instead of this, it's just like, uh, this is a piece of the story. We keep scrolling down. This is another piece of the story and maybe another piece of the story. And then it basically says like the release date. So kind of something like, or let's do, let's expand this a little bit more. And the thing is, is I don't want Mario here either. So maybe what I can do here is right click, edit in Photoshop. I really wonder how this works. Maybe I can do like a content aware fill thing. Let's see. Greg says, I think it would try to catch the center point of the word Mario in the logo because it is the only element that is centered. The rest of it is just yellow. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look right to me. I, I, I don't know why. But um, let's see, content. Do any of you guys know content aware fill? Let's see what this does. Oh my, oh, yo, what the actual hell? Okay, Adobe, they literally just erased, they erased my guy, Mario, and low key AI. Like, look, look at our man Toad. This, he's like, where did Mario go? He low key does not exist anymore. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and hit okay with that. That was insane. And now I can kind of just go in and, and clean this up. I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna sample this stuff. I'm gonna do like a opacity two and kind of just blend these two areas together. That was sick. Okay, Adobe, you out here. That was my first time ever really doing that. So I apologize guys be like, yeah, Brandon, that's the thing. I was not, I was not aware. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close these out so I don't kill my computer. All right. Let's pull this down. I, I, that's unbelievable that it literally just pulled that sucker out. Okay, so we're going to keep these sticky, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and pull these maybe to the side. This is one part of the story. Maybe this is another part of the story. And then maybe there's another part of the story here. And I'm just going to... Add some of this stuff in. Let's 
I don't know how what the narrative is that I want though. I feel like Toad is, is, is too weird here. I feel like maybe Bowser is a better Maybe this shot. And there's better shots too that I could totally grab. Maybe this one. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think linear. So it's like in the beginning, we have like. I'm trying to think the 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 how the trailer did it. The trailer basically was like, yo, Bowser's here. Or let's let's do the Koopa person. Boom. All right. Maybe we can make some other circles too. Like this one is Bowser. Maybe make the make it a little bit smaller. Maybe this one a little bit bigger. And then this one be like Bowser or something. No idea. What do you guys think? I feel like I've overcomplicated. Definitely overcomplicated something. Maybe the next one is Bowser. Then you got the. I love the penguins, man. I don't know why. Gray says, for the purpose of learning and challenging, in uh, and challenge, the AI did the job. Mo most definitely, I was like, damn, that was that was serious. T uh, Toonie says, you can always try to use the clone stamp tool for cleaning up and erasing things from the background. Most definitely, like, but uh, you know, eh, I probably could clean up this area around here. Like, my ma we got like a straight edge right there, but you know, hopefully we can cover that up. So we've got this, maybe I want to add maybe some text here. We'll just go. Um, headline here. Boom. And I also kind of want to see, I'm going to go back to our thing here. I'm going to screenshot this. I want to see like the, the size of their text too. Like honestly, I do this with everything guys. Like people I think was in our Discord yesterday and they are like, Brandon, what do you do for inspiration? And I was like, guys, I literally take screenshots of things and I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, that's how, you know, that's the size I should be doing things. Um, I just do things by eye, you know? So I'm like, okay, boom. All right, this looks like a nice hierarchy. Let's actually reduce it from bold to maybe something a little bit lighter. Let's do regular. Okay, this piece down here, this is probably a little bit thicker. So let's do heading goes here or let's just do heading here and I will pick something a little bit bigger now this is I feel like Mario is a little bit more bubbly right it's a little bit more fun I don't think it needs like super like this is uh, pretty uh Paragraph text goes here. And I will probably pull this down in size, maybe around like, we'll probably do like 25 or something, 24. And let's get the arrangement here. So we've got about this, this. 
Try to arrange everything nicely. Left align everything after I group it. And then I'll pull it on over to our thing and see how it kind of pairs up. Let's kill that. Yeah, I do not like this text. Um, there's another plugin that I want. It's not compatible. My goodness. How not? Oh, I, I didn't update. Well, maybe let's try this. Let's do this real quick. Let me just duplicate this really quickly. And yeah, okay, this is the type of font that I'm looking for, and I have no idea what it is. So let me actually, I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of this. We're gonna cheat a little bit here. This is actually how you find fonts um, online if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. I'm gonna put it in my downloads. And I'm gonna go back to the internet, go to what the font. And I can just upload an image to basically reverse search. No. No, thank you. It'll identify it. I can put in, ooh, this looks pretty good. Now, the thing is, is that some of these will have cost to them. I don't do that. <laughs> so what I do is I'm like, okay, Ron Black. And especially because these are, you probably will need, if you are doing real work for real clients um you will need to pay for them because you need the license but because i'm doing this for educational purposes i don't need any of that um i'm just gonna go to ron font and let me see if this is it looks about right it's a little bit you know it's what i need so i'm just gonna download it it says let's see Toonie says, you can also, oh, this is the clone stamp thing. Toonie says, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, I really wanna open up XD now just so I can make something like this because this is so amazing. Yeah, see, what the font like saves, saves lives, man. Let's see, so I'm gonna extract all, yep. Okay, and I'm just now gonna uh, I'm going to download all these. Let me do... Alright. Delete, delete, delete. I didn't know there were so many of these. And the cool thing is, too, is now that I have these on my computer, I can also put them on Editor X for me to use for uh, future things. But obviously, guys, like if you're doing real work, please get the license or else you will get in some serious trouble if someone finds out. Like this is only because this is educational purposes. I'm not making any money from this website or uh, anything like please only do this if you're doing personal work or for educational purposes. All right. But yeah, Toonie, I would highly recommend, especially with the fact that uh, Adobe, I would only use Figma because of this now, right? Adobe just put an offer out and is looking to acquire uh, Figma, right? And the fact that that is happening, I need to, because I know the future of design, especially with Adobe spending that much, 20 billion on uh, Figma, it, to me, it is super important for me to learn that program um, because that is going to, they're literally going to try to plug all of Adobe's products into that software to make it easy for us to um, build a little bit faster. So give me a second here, just get my tea. Wait, hold on, how can, is there a plugin for Photoshop uh, Lakshitha? Hold on, from menu go to type match font. Hold up, this is about to be game changing. Okay, 
So we're going to, you said, go to type. Match font. Okay, adjust the text selection box to include up to three lines. Wait, I'm lost. Oh, okay, this is just, a, what the? F okay, maybe I moved that out of the way. Oh, so I need to bring the font in here. Okay, let's see, wait. Okay, let me actually, I'm going to pull in. That is, y'all are just giving the gem state. Okay, so if I wanted to bring, if I wanted to find this font, right? So let's let's take it from Lakshika. Sorry, I put a K in your name. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Match font. All right, well, just one. I had no idea that. Photoshop even had this, that they had a match font tool. So let's go ahead in here. Let's hit OK. Oh, am I not I swear, I'm such a noob at this. Let's do it one more time. Match font. OK. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to let it search rather than hit OK. All right. It looks like it did pretty good, but it, uh, they look pretty basic-ish. I think like this tablet Gothic looks pretty good. And the thing is, is that available on Adobe fonts, like that's actually really awesome because that's free for me. I would probably use this one. Let's see. Let's go ahead. And let's hit OK. I'm really curious. I didn't read the font name. Oh, here it is. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know, guys. <laughs> this is actually super. I think this is the one. I mean, it's close. It really is. That's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say on that one. Excellent job. We're gonna we're literally gonna have to make that into a video because that's super cool Hence the super but that's really cool I love the fact that you can literally just go to type pull in uh, figure out what this font is It will reserve search and the fact that it pulls up the Adobe font equivalent That's awesome because I can literally just download it. I already have I've paying for Adobe fonts I can pull this in and it's it's pretty similar and It will pull into editor X2 or excuse me not editor X, uh, Adobe XD. All right, where am I? Let's, where's our, we're here. Okay, let's go ahead and, what were the fonts that we downloaded? I feel like I need to save this and I'm going to need to close and open. I'm gonna delete this, I'm also going to save I'm gonna save this. Or actually, I don't think I need to. So we'll just close that. Nope. We'll leave that. Uh, we'll just leave this. Okay, so XD, we're gonna open up again because basically we've downloaded a new font. We wanna make sure that it's in here. So we're back in here. Maybe I wanna, maybe what we can do is we can add nice a little white borders to these things. Or maybe like a light blue. So this is about, we'll do 14. Border 14, make it white. White. Maybe we can add a little bit of a, let's try this. Mm, 
I like the white. Okay, let's also try to do a little bit of a drop shadow here. Just a little bit. Keep it in the blue. Maybe what we can do is we can swatch this. Boom, use that swatch. Blur this. Push it off to the left. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. And we don't want it to be super. Maybe we don't even need that. Let's turn this off real quick. Maybe we can do something like this. Turn off the border. Darken this a little bit, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and do a object blur. Blur it as just a little bit here. So we have like a little pretending as if this is kind of on something, right? Opacity, we'll just drop that a little bit. I don't know. That don't look like nothing. <laughs> All right, let's see. Koala, what's going on? Glad to see you, my friend. How are you doing? We are trying to... First off, what I need to do is I need to figure out what the freaking font I downloaded. It is Ron Rounded. So let's go ahead and do that. Ron. Okay, this looks a little bit more fun. We are going to... Make sure that this is left aligned and we are going to reduce the line height here. Ungroup, fix this sort of stuff here. Pull this down right here. Okay. That feels a little bit better in my opinion. And I think maybe what we'll do is we'll take this, we'll also do run, rounded, there we go, same here, R-O-H-N, maybe we will take this and maybe reduce the opacity, we don't want it too pop outy, these we're just going to delete, we're going to group these puppies, And we are going to, there we go. And then, I kind of, let's see what this looks like really quick. So I'm gonna make kind of like smaller circles. Maybe I can bring them to the front if this one is smaller. A little bit wider. And because my thought process is maybe what I can do is make like these will be different parts or different photos of the story. So like for example, we have, you know, Zoom in here, we've got Bowser coming out. Let's go to borders, white, 14 border here. I don't know, and maybe, let's just try to do this again. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like that, that's getting too, too extra. Let me duplicate this again. Let's see what, if we just take these borders off and delete this. Let's delete this. Let's put the drop shadows on. Let's 
Let's see. I'm going to try to keep the the shadows kind of wherever they are, like I want them to come to the center. I'll blur that out. I'm going to reduce the opacity of the drop just by a little bit. And I already know like, you know, drop shadows especially they're easy to overdo. <laughs> and I am definitely somebody to overdo them. All right, let's blur that. And let's pull down the opacity too. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like this at all. Because the plan essentially is, I think what I'd like to do, I'm going to pull this out just a little bit more. Hmm. What if... Tony says, it's just me or does the image in the first circle feel like it's a little bit stretched inwards. What do you mean? It definitely looks something. But I feel like there needs to be... I don't know, it feels like there needs to be something that I'm not doing. I'm like, can I just... Is that weird? Can I do something like that? Where it looks like. What is this? This size is 53. Let's do 500. 500 by 500. I'm just going to set them all to that. And I'm just going to see if I can steal this and put. I'm feeling, I feel like I'm adding embellishments when they either don't need embellishments or something else. But I feel like the white kind of helps them bring it, helps bring it out a little bit. And I feel like Mario definitely needs a shadow of some sort. Let's go ahead, let's grab this darker pull that border off object blur scale this puppy up something around there and then group this DJ resolution says find a teared paper hole where those characters would be cut through Oh, would come through the poster. Hmm. That would be really cool. The thing is, is how do I make it look like... Oh, guys. All right, let's, let's try that. I feel like we're getting into some territory I do not want to be in. Like, could totally do this. Let's see. Like, uh, Tuni is saying like, you know how you can stretch something outwards? 
it looks like that, but then stretch inwards. I have no idea what that means, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just a little slow, but like I think this is a really cool idea, this stuff, but I, I am already like, oh my God, that is going to be ridiculous in um, when it comes to like having to actually make the website. And I'm like, oh God, I really don't want to have to have to mess with that. So I'm going to, even though I love that, that creative direction piece, I'm like, oof, I'm not sure I want to do all that. So let me see. I'm going to do one last piece here. I'm trying to think. I really want to, uh, I feel like we are missing a lot of opportunities here. Let me go ahead and pull this over here. Like, I feel like I'm trying to do too many things when the simple, the simple option is just like, the fact that I don't need to do all that. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't really tell. Let me squeeze this down and pull this up here, squeeze. I'm going to ungroup this really quick. I feel like I don't need the super big headings. I feel like maybe something smaller. I'm going to group this, pull this in. Delete these. Delete this. I don't know, which one do you guys think? Large headings or small headings? No, Tuna, you're fine. Like, I'm sure you're definitely, you're probably 100% seeing something. The thing is, is that I don't see it. <laughs> And I can't, uh, you know, I can't figure it out. And I'm also like, dag, I'm trying to keep, uh, keep in mind time too. Tony's saying, let's see, what if the Nintendo just hits you up after all this? Ask you if you can use this. Hey, listen, I will be, the thing is, and this is also another reason why we started these challenges. When I make this, right, um, the plan is to, like, I do want to post these online, right? Like I do want to utilize, what's my call? I do want to, like for example, I made a League of Legends one that's actually, I enjoyed making this. And yeah, like I don't think I tagged uh, League of Legends in this, but the whole plan with these challenges is I'm gonna make a website, I'm going to make a video out of it, I'm going to put it online and everybody else that participates in this, like, I'm going to make a video with a almost a, a, a collage of all of our work, post it, it's going to be super hot, and we're going to tag the brands too. And see kind of what, uh, you know, if we can kind of get a response. So that's something I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to doing and adding. Alright, so I'm going to steal this play trailer thing. And let's see, what does this say? Release date. First of all, I want to make sure I have it left aligned. Lease date. Um, I don't know the release date. What is the release date? April 17th. Okay, and then what is that? Exclusively in movie theaters. I'm pretty sure it's also going to be exclusively in movie theaters. So, <laughs> we will, we'll just write that. I 
start writing, just make sure I'm left aligning, not center aligning. Because another thing I would like to do is, right, we have part of this whole movie thing is that star, right? I would love to be able to like be able to cut Maybe something like I don't know. Let's let's see real quick. Another thing I would like to do, oh my gosh, what would be super awesome is if we had like a, a, like one of these pipes and when you scroll down, when you're done, like this actually comes out of, oops, comes out of the pipe. That would be super cool. So let me see, I'm gonna try to find one. See how like this continues to get like more and more like complex. <laughs> Green, what is it? Tube Mario. Let's go to images real quick. I don't know if this is super IQ. I appreciate that. I'll take it. But let me see. What one? I'm looking for a 3D one. Yes, JT, we, that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. But I'm trying to find one that's like quality enough. It would be super cool too if like we could also... We'll just steal this one. I'm like, this is okay enough. It's not the sexiest one. Maybe we'll do this one. make this a little bit longer but the thing is I think what I'm gonna do here is let's duplicate this one and did you guys say you like the big or the small text like I feel like I like the big text and I feel like I like what I did with the circles here yeah I think this works out Thing is, is I need to make this just a little bit longer. I wonder if all right, let's group these. So I'm gonna place this right here. This will be a little bit further, right around here. Get some room. 
and we'll have this. So, what was this? Was this more info? Nah, we'll just, let's see. Play trailer or ticket? Kind of do the same thing with this other one here. We'll just duplicate it. We'll scale this down, pull this down, and we'll grab boom, boom, copy, paste. Whoops, and just group these. And maybe we could have like a really weird, like Toad being really weird over here, kind of like pointing over to this. That would be really cool. Let's see if we can, <gasps> wait, like this, exactly. That's exactly what we need. Let's go ahead and try to grab him. Um, let's see, let's go, let me just duplicate this. First off, I wanna see if I can remove him from this background. Let's see if, if Photoshop has any more magic to kind of give us today. So let's go ahead and try to get him in his shadow. Content aware fill. Eh. Not super bad, but let's go ahead and actually I think maybe what we can do here is let's try to let's just make this like one big old road. All right, well that does that that does not nine. <laughs> All right, let's let's go to our stamp tool real quick, and I uh, actually, ugh, all right, this is not gonna be. Guys, do not yell at me, do not laugh at me. I have not used this, and I'm like, I have not used it in a long time, and I'm also like trying to rush at the same time. <laughs> I cannot stop shazamming all the back marrow music. I'm glad, man. This is uh, this is why we have we try to keep the the tracks nice for you guys. Greg says I might open Figma and play around with something old stuff of mine. Greg says this is gonna look dope while animated. Well, I hope so, man. And I you know I hope that uh, you'll be able to kind of hang around a little bit and 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 see kind of how it goes. Tomorrow the plan is to actually um, start. Um, animating or actually putting this puppy in editor X and seeing where we can go with it okay this is actually really ugly so I'm sorry uh, to anyone who's watching this but let me see if I can control s and see what ha like how bad it is over here all right it doesn't look too bad let's see if we kind of we're gonna edit this we're gonna pull out let's pull out toad or let's go here first. We'll go to our magic object selection. Please pick all of Toad, please. Perfect. All right. And I don't know if this is Toad or not, like what this is down here, but 
let's cut that out. Let's control J. We have a little toad. Let's go ahead and let's crop this baby. I don't know how. He does not look re resolute at all. So let's go filter. Let's blur him just l let me control J him real quick. Filter, let's blur him just a little bit. Let me turn this off. Maybe like point. A little sum sum. There we go. And then let's go to sharpen, unmask. All right, we're not gonna sharpen this man super hard. We're gonna sharpen him a little bit just so we get some definition in there. All right, whatever, just a little bit. Let's save, let's see what that looks like. I don't know how I feel about him. He does not look okay. No, we're gonna put him away. He's fine right there. He's he's a okay. Let's control Z all of that. But one of the things I would like to do is this star. I want to see if I can like actually pull it out. It's probably gonna be not easy at all. So I think I'm gonna try one more thing. And then tomorrow I think we have had, all right, so. All right, control J, let's control. Boom, let's hit save. All right, we got our star. And let's uh, let's actually, let's get some, um, let's go to curves. I'm gonna get some, uh, maybe it's also, let's go here, let's go to, Brightness and contrast. Brightness. Hmm. All right, let's just delete this. Let's say, JT, can you find an already made Mario Star asset just like you found the pipe? I think so, but I also want it to be like a realistic one. Like for example, I did find some really cool uh, let me show you guys. So I found some really awesome, oh, uh, whoops. I found some really cool, let me find them. I found some like really cool boxes, right? So I think these were for the thumbnails. And I can just rotate this one here. Like, this was pretty cool. You know, some pretty cool assets that I found. Not at all sure if I, you know, should add these or not. You know, they, they don't really mean too much, right? I'm not even sure if they have context with the actual movie, you know what I'm saying? It would be cool, like, if there was a way to, like, maybe learn more, maybe this would be, like, part of the button. That could be cool, but... I don't know. I w my thought was... 
<laughs> Tony was like, I just downloaded XD. Wixfix is gonna run, it's been nice watching. Do you plan on doing an EdRx build today? Today, absolutely not, that would be crazy. But tomorrow the plan is to, so all day today was getting a design direction, tomorrow is all about EdRx. So whatever we land on today and we're happy with, we're gonna start building in um, EdRx tomorrow. So hope to see you there tomorrow. We're gonna be live at 1 p.m. EST, same time as we were live today. And uh, yeah, we'll just rock from there. So I hope to see some of you guys there tomorrow if you are leaving to at the moment. But um, yeah. We'll see. Maybe we'll... It seems like the star is like the main thing. So maybe we'll take this. I really... What I want to do with this is it's so light right now. Um, I really need to brighten this up. And I'm wondering... I'm gonna take these brushes. Maybe I can do like a little bit of an overlay thing. There you go. Oh, that's the difference. Let's do. All right, so overlay. Let's go ahead and just reduce the opacity a little bit. That. Let me actually see if I can get like a Alright, let me see what these do Our Overlay, subtract Color dodge. All right, so. Ugh. I'm just trying to find like ways to, to brighten it up a little bit and it looks mad busted. <laughs> Man, it does not look good. I feel like Alright, let's go let's go with your idea, JT. Let's do because I was looking this up earlier. Star from Mario. 3D. Because there is this. Alright, this one. It's not bad. This one's not bad either. I didn't see those earlier. Good thinking, JT. Alright, let's go ahead and delete that. Boom. I am also just only going to be taking our right one. So I'm going to take this, delete. Save that. I also want to try to see if I can find a front facing one. So all this stuff I'm going to go ahead and just delete, delete. 
No. <laughs> I made Toad look like he had an aneurysm. Um, but yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? Did you guys end up liking these large headings, or did you guys like the small ones? For some reason, I, I kind of dig the, the, the small headings for whatever reason. Like, if I were to, let's go ahead and here and let's press play real quick. So, boom. We're scrolling. I like the, I like the size of the headings. Toad, my man, you gotta, you pixelated back there. And by the way, as we do this, like, I, my thought is that this will stay sticky, right? So all this will stay sticky, this will stay sticky, and as we scroll, like, we should be seeing this stuff pop up. Um, or we'll see, you know, when we actually get into Editor X, we'll kind of, we'll play around. But, uh, so essentially my thoughts are like, boom, we play. Kind of something to this effect, right? And I think for this, I'm going to have to move Mario to the front. I'm not exactly sure how I want this to play out. So this would be sticky. What else? I think all this. Fixed position. Let's see. We'll group, fixed position. Let's see how this works out. All right, the buy ticket button. I think these things would fade out, fade out after a certain time. Let's see what this looks like. Fixed position. This we're gonna make sure is in front of everything. We're gonna put Mario in the back of everything. This though will make things pretty difficult to to read. Like it's pretty clustered right now, right? And there's competing things. So Tuni says small one looks better. JT's I like the small ones, but people always say the headings always too small. I don't know if it's possible, but would it look cool if the Mario and the Ed would go into the pipe? You know? Hmm. What if we did that? Let's see. Let's make a duplicate one. Let's go ahead and push this to the center. Pull this down a little bit more. Let's scale this just a bit more here. And one of the things I do want to try to do, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this, edit Photoshop. I'm going to duplicate this, and we are gonna go to filters, blur, Gaussian. I'm gonna pump this baby up to a, a good amount here. Press OK. We're gonna put a mask on it. We're going to go to our gradients. We're going to do basics. Where is our, yes, white to black or black to white. We're going to basically top to bottom like that. Save that so that we have that nice little, uh, you know, uh, good stuff up in the top. And as we go down, it, it blurs a little bit. We got this here. Let's see what goes on. And I think we're gonna have to push things. So maybe. We will push this a little bit further up. Oops. Like here. Let's try that. Amazing idea, Tooney. I, I really like that. Because I want him to... 
I want him to be in here. I don't even want to see his hat. So. Maybe I make him a little bit smaller. Let's see. So I want, in the actual thing, I want it to stop here. Now this other content, right? Like I think I really need to move it off to the sides a little bit more. So this stuff, and these cubes, I'm just gonna group them and kind of hide them for now. <laughs> that is a, it was a really good idea, I like it. All right, so, boom. And what is this? This is about 138, so we're gonna pull this to the side. Okay, right about there. Boom, boom, everything is kind of like... All right, now we gotta pull this to the side. Make sure to save. So I think this is cool. Now, this is actually really lit. This is awesome. All right, now, see teamwork makes the dream work, guys. <laughs> this is really cool. And basically each one of these will animate as they kind of come in, right? So that's kind of the plan. And I wonder if we need this, right? Because we already have the buy tickets up here. We'll see. What do you guys think? And I also think what I'll do at the bottom here is we're going to do a little bit of a gradient. Kind of showcasing the bottom. Solid cutter, linear gradient. Do black. To kind of. We'll scale this. And we also want to make sure that this one is also a little bit dark, but... Something like that. So we kind of see a little bit uh, finish. This design, even though it is opposite it is the opposite, reminds me of the JK Rowling website for some reason. They look and behave completely different, by the way. Yo, what is the what is the link for it? We'd love to see. I, guys, this was like dream team, you know, we, we did it on this one, guys. All right, I'm gonna, this Nintendo and Illumination, I need to make sure fixed position, okay. I'm really happy about this. Now, one of the things I want to also take a look at is I want to do another version of this, but I want to take these, I want to turn the borders off. I want to set all of these to 500 by 500. And I want to bring in these rings. I want to see what that looks like. Group that, let me get here. Boom. Let me ungroup this. OK. 
Okay. Ungroup. And boom, pow. Now I don't know how much we'll do 20, we'll do 26 pixels between the actual text and these guys. Okay, we'll regroup everything. There we go. One, two, three. Group, group, group. There we go. Maybe I'll push these down just a little bit. Let me group this last thing. Then I'll group all of them right here. Perfect. And I'll push this down just a little bit more. <laughs> Mom, I finally did something in my life. No, this is absolutely awesome. Like, I just totally appreciate it. Like, this was super sick. I think what we'll do is because so, some of this content is above. I think we're going to set this all the way to the back, then slowly bring it to the front. It, this is kind of cutting, so what I need to do is kind of click in here. Make sure to scale it. Oops. Scale the photo properly. All right, there we go. Now the Gaussian blur kind of does look a little much. Like it's very drastic. It goes very sharp and then immediately starts getting a little crazy. Um, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that. I'm thinking maybe to blur it, but not super much. Like boom. Maybe like, maybe this much is fine. And then we'll go ahead and do the gradient, get the mask. and go the opposite way. Something like that. We'll try that out. Eh. Blur that sucker. Blur, Gaussian. Let's do it. Another three point. Let's do another one. Let's save that. Let's preview this. And what do you guys think? Do you like the? I honestly, I like the, the uh, the white outlines a little bit better for whatever reason, versus this one. It seems a little white, lighter, a little daintier. Like it doesn't really, doesn't really do it. Thoughts? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Guys, I did not catch, um, what's gonna call it? Yeah, I need to go through and do my, uh, what's gonna call it? Need to go through and do my, um, what is it? Basically the thing that allows me to block. I, I, I need better filters. All right, so I'm going to bring this to the top. I'm going to flip it. All right, let me just rotate, eh, flip just like this. Push it to the back, bring it to the front a little bit. Go to this color. I'm going to reduce the opacity just by a little bit. All right, let's take a look. I think maybe what I'll do here as well is maybe I'll fix position this. Hmm. Let 
let me all right so that is I got it okay so this is the top this is the bottom let's go ahead and do that I'm going to reduce the opacity of this top piece bottom piece I'm going to reduce okay play all right I think that works out oh my god are they still going yeah sorry about that guys all right I'm gonna push that to the back Fixed position, let's play. Yeah, I like this one better. I'm gonna do one more. And I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna scale this guy to right about here. See what it looks like. I don't know. Does it have the same effect? What do you guys think? I feel like it doesn't. Take this, we're gonna move it up just a little bit. Got you, DM DM me about the whole stretchy thing? My man, that's what's up. I appreciate you. Yeah, let's see though. But yeah, small one or big. Or Big Mario. I kind of like Big Mario because it's like he he's he's not super distracting. He's kind of like the face looking forward. You, you get to focus kind of on his face, right? And kind of like the other things that are here. I don't know. And then maybe, maybe bring this up. All right, this is my last adjustment, guys. Yeah, I would like it to end just right here without one more scroll. Yeah, I like the big Mario too. So I guess tomorrow we will go with this one and we will build it in Editor X. And we'll take a look at it one more time. And let's see. I'm going to pull this down by like a little bit. Let's go back and play. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Probably just need to click this, pull this up. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> this is exactly. Actually, we'll do it. Ah, we'll do it right there because I still wanted to say play trailer. Okay, we'll shorten it up a little bit more.
There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want this. I think we will keep this. I'm gonna just create, I'm gonna do a mask real quick. And I am going to pull this down a little bit further. Probably right about here. Pull this to the bottom. All right, that way we the focus is this. We get to see the availability, boom, okay, great. And I think we'll just have a, instead of another red, we're gonna set the white. Push that up front. We're gonna do a learn more. And what was this? This is a border of four. Perfect. Make sure that's centered. I'm gonna go here and make sure this is centered as well. Alrighty. I need to start sending my clients to watch your videos so they can see how much time I spend on just planning. I promise some people just think it takes 20 minutes to build a great website for for some reason. No, not at all. Like, we can all attest to this being, like, how long is this already? This is almost going on three hours, right? And this is not even, this is not even building. This is not even the animation. You know, this is, this is just a homepage. <laughs> that has no content <laughs> you know what i mean so yes def definitely if you feel if you feel the nece necessity definitely send uh the videos to your client we still have to figure out what we're, what the hell we're gonna say here i have no idea so all right guys that is it this is uh i'm actually gonna move my my photo here so you guys can actually see the full uh, the full power and you know i need actually need to I need to move this up a little bit. Sorry about that. My face was like really in the way. So let's take a, let's take a full gander of what you know what we have here. I love it, and this is pretty simple, right? Like. Thank you guys so much for you know your ideas, and I cannot wait to kind of. You know, especially like this is like the coolest part, you know, uh, Toonie, really nice job. So, all right, let's go ahead and put my face back in it. I'm excited to, to play with this. And you know what? I wonder if I should put my face, do you guys, out of curiosity, do you think I should put my face over here in the corner and have this like over here? Like just streaming wise, like I don't, I don't know. I, I'm having, I've been having a hard time trying to figure out like where should I put my my face exactly. <laughs> it would be awesome if you guys could help a brother out. But um, I'm gonna try to squeeze this a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we'll figure it out though. But guys, this is the last look of what it is that we are going to build tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST. I will go ahead and leave you guys the link to that, but if you guys join our Discord, okay, I'll pop up in Discord for us really quick. If you guys go to our Discord, you guys can see that um, we have our monthly challenge here. We have both part one and part two, all right? so. Essentially, all you guys need to do if you want to figure out how to, um, what's gonna call it, how all of this works, I'll leave this link for you guys in the chat so you can see what the challenge is, etc. JT, gotta go. 
you bother us on Discord later. All right, take it easy, my friend. Have a good day, and thanks for hanging out. But if you guys want to check out the, um, what's we call it, the challenge, what, how it works and all that stuff, I put the link for you guys in the chat. I'll also make sure to put it in the description after this. But uh, part two tomorrow, the link is also here in our Discord. Part two is all about building this website um, from scratch in EditorX as a no-code website that is fully responsible, fully res responsive. So that is going to be a, a, a doozy tomorrow. You know, I think, especially for the mobile side of things, you know, I think what we might have to do is just, actually what I think would be really cool for mobile, right, is we probably have to stack everything kind of like this. And it would be really cool to uh, kind of have everything go into, or, uh, you know, it would be really cool. Obviously this isn't mobile, right? But for the mobile one, Everything will probably be stacked and we'll probably make it in a way that each um, section kind of goes into a, a tube. So we'll see. We'll have fun with that. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me today for three hours to build this Mario uh, this Mario website from scratch. I'm super excited tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST to make it from scratch in Editor X, bring it all the way from what we've designed today to a fully responsive website that has some interactivity and animation. So I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Have a good day. Bye. Tuni, keep keep up with the good ideas. I can't wait for more. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be requesting you every time I go live now. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you guys in the Discord. Peace.